With the China-U.S. trade war raging and stocks dropping, the silver lining is precious metals. Hang around and I'll show you a great setup on silver that's happening right now. Hi, this is Tim from Trading Strategy Guides. The U.S. and China have been trading shots in this war for some time. Get it? Trading shots? Trade war? Never, never mind. Y you know, I've been the purveyor of bad dad jokes since the 80s. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I'm totally avoiding the politics of this situation, but I'm looking at the benefits to us as traders. And right now it's a great setup on silver, and I'll show you that in a minute. But first, I keep telling you my impatience is legendary, but it's important to be patient when you're waiting for a trade setup. But there's no need to be patient while you listen to me ramble on, so you'll want to click the gear icon below the video and select a faster speed to watch this video. Plus, over the last few months, I've gone over my whole list of trading maxims. So I've started over, and I'm giving them to you randomly, sprinkled with new ones that I add periodically. So stay tuned for that at the end. A little bit has been going on with uh, some of these trades that I've been showing you in prior videos. So I'm going to give you some uh, updates on that, and then we'll take a look at that silver trade setup I was telling you about. Since Kraft Heinz appears to be popping right here, and it's on uh, it's on decent volume, not huge volume, but uh, I'm going to move my stop down to 28.95 on the second half to lock in two and a half dollars on that half. Hopefully, uh, traders will only worry about closing this gap right here. Traders just like closing gaps from last week, and then it will just drop from there and uh, continue on down. If not, we'll have a tidy profit on this one, and we'll move on to the next one. Papa John's Pizza is hurting my heart here. <laughs> it's closed back inside this trading range, so I'm shutting this trade down, and I'm going to take my loss on it, and that's just it. Our stop was up here, so we've only taken about uh, half uh, of a loss here on this so if you're trading it using my trade management techniques that's going to be about a one percent loss on this trade i'm done with papa john's for now uh, we'll keep it on the green list though uh, to see where it goes next good old nike here i love my nike shoes <laughs> uh, i'm moving the stop down to uh, one atr which is where our uh, first half uh, target was so uh, that's, so let's see, 79.67 to lock in, dollar fifty three on the second half. Hopefully this pop is going to stop right here at the 78.04 and uh, continue on. It's kind of looking promising right now. Uh, the volume was not huge, so uh, hopefully it's just going to breathe there and continue on down. So we're going to give it a chance to do that. I mentioned last week to watch for Disney to close above this wedge right here and buy it if you get at least 75% average volume. Uh, well, it looks like we may get this close above the wedge today, but the volume is still only about half. So this is the average and this is the volume, and so it's a little bit more than half right now. Uh, it's late in the day. It's, uh, it's almost uh, closing time. So um, it's probable that we won't get that. If we do not get at least 75% of the average volume, I will be standing aside on this trade. But we'll watch and see what it does tomorrow. CNN Business uh, says that the world is on the brink of a trade war. U.S. President John Donald Trump, if I can get his name out straight, announced Thursday that he would impose tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese exports to the U.S., and then, of course, Beijing fired back with uh, outlined new import taxes of its own on U.S. products. Um, so on and on it goes. But the result is a sharp drop in the U.S. dollar index. How do we benefit from this? Well, when the dollar drops, precious metals pop. <laughs> that could be a poetic trading maxim, couldn't it? Well, you can see that I totally missed the opportunity on gold. I drew this wedge a week or two ago, 
right here on gold expecting a break above it like this and it came and I was looking somewhere else this is Friday's bar uh, this is above uh, this is more than an ATR above the wedge so uh, it's likely that I would have uh, been careful with this but still uh, look at this huge pop we would have already hit first target if we had entered right in here so um, I, I figured this has just moved too far up now and so I'm gonna have to pass on this one however silver is giving us close above this bull flag on good volume and uh, this whole this whole move up has been on uh, on good volume um, and traders were getting bored with this bull flag you can see uh, the reduction in volume uh, for the last several weeks uh, but particularly this uh, reduction in volatility uh, that's dropped off uh, uh, over the the course of most of this that just represents uh, the average length of the candles has reduced uh, during the whole the whole course of this move so uh, now we get this nice push up and break out all of it on good volume so I really like the look of this so here's the plan I'm going to do something that I don't usually do, but I have a little case of FOMO going on. You remember FOMO, right? FOMO, fear of missing out. Normally I would say stay away from this because it's already gone past the ATR for the day. ATR is currently 17 and a half cents right here. And so um, this is, uh, that's roughly here at 14.77 and it has already gone uh, over 23 cents, 23 and a quarter cents uh, above this level. So I would normally say wait for this to retrace back below this one ATR level before you trade this. But I'm going to buy half size on today's close. And if it gets down below this 1477, I will buy the second half. You know, like I say, fear of missing out. Uh, you know, you saw what gold looked like. Uh, gold on the second day just took straight off and did not did not retrace at all. I want to make sure that we get in this, but I'm only going to go in half size to reduce my risk if this pulls back here. And I, I want to see it pull back on reduced volume. Uh, I don't I don't want to see this crazy volume on a pullback. Uh, but if it pulls back on reduced volume uh, below this 1477 level, then I will by the second half of this position here as i mentioned this line this 1477 is roughly one atr above the breakout point right here use the average true range or atr to calculate your stop loss uh, right now it's 1768 so multiply that times one and a half to get your stop loss uh, that would be roughly uh, 26 26 and a half cents right now uh, of course, you will want to use the ATR, whatever the ATR is, uh, when you actually enter the trade. This has been going up steadily uh, because this candle keeps pushing up. Your first target will be equal to one times that ATR, or like I say right now, a little over 17 cents, 17 and a half cents. Uh, when the trade hits the target, close half of it, and then set your stop break even on the remainder and then follow the stops on the second half to maximize your profit. Uh, if you want more details on managing the trade, uh, just check out my trade management video from a few weeks ago. I will put the link below. It's our favorite time trading maxim time. According to the dictionary, a maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, or a rule of conduct, or sometimes it's just a proverbial saying. I use these maxims to help me not only in my trading, but in my life focus. I wish I could claim credit for writing these, but most of them come from my reading. I add to the list uh, whenever I find something that fits. I hope they help you as much as they help me. So as I mentioned, I've gone through all of my maxims, or most of my maxims at this point. So I'm going to be firing at you randomly. <laughs> uh, Casey wants me to put these into a book, and, and I probably will get to that sometime I hope uh, because I really really want to be able to help you guys 
uh, and I hope that these things will help you as much as they've helped me. So today's maxim number eight is your first job is protecting your trading account. What would you do if you didn't have your trading account? You'd be trading on demo, right? <laughs> or not trading at all. See, it's not worth risking your whole trading account on one single trade, no matter how good it appears, because no trades are 100%. So don't do it. You know, keep your risk small. One, two, three percent per trade uh, against your account, and uh, that way you'll have your trading account tomorrow, and you'll live to trade another day. Remember our trade plan: silver. We're going to buy half size on today's close. Uh, the ATR. Well, the ATR was 0.1758 when I was looking at this uh, earlier, but it's already popped up from there. Uh, so you'll have to readjust uh, your stop loss will be one and a half times the ATR and your first target will be the ATR. You'll be able to find the current ATR right here uh, if you're using TradingView. Uh, we'll buy the second half of this if it pulls down below this 1477 level. Okay, And I will use the same stop loss on uh, both positions. Also, make sure that this pullback here is small volume. You don't want huge volume on the pullback. Stay out of it if that happens. Here's a cool thing from Trading Strategy Guides. They've got this Strike Trader Elite Trade Signal Service. If you don't have time to analyze charts, or you've got a day job, or you just would rather, you know, watch cat videos, <laughs> you'll get Forex trade signals on a dozen or so pairs on several different time frames. So. All of them are based on the Strike Trader Elite system. Look below the video for a link to the free signals on the Telegraph application. And I'll also post a link to my video that explains the Strike Trader Elite trading system. Be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guides channel every week on Monday and Friday for my analysis videos and Wednesday morning for my training webinar. And check out the blog for great trading strategies. I'll put the link to that below. Also, follow me on Twitter. If things happen between my videos, I will post them there. I'll put my Twitter link below as well. Please tell your friends about us and help us make this the best trading channel on the Internet. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have a great week, and I will see you next time.